Jesus Christ. He takes a lot of hits. Damn it. And I'm dead. And we got angels. So this boss fight is kind of confusing. The way this fight works is horrible. I don't remember very well, but either you have to hit him while he's trying to suck you, or you have to hit him from the ass. So far, hitting him while he's sucking me isn't working, so let's try hitting him from behind, because he turns very slowly. And you might notice he has a very, very red ass. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you just have to shoot at him. Ah, oh, damn it. This is not an easy fight, as you can tell. That boy is just an asshole, really. Crap. No. I'm stuck on the wall. Oh, there's no way I can- Oh. You liking this fight so far? You can get stuck on the wall, by the way. You can do that on the fucking first boss, too. You can get stuck in the freaking walls of the boss fight areas, and you would not be able to get out. Welcome to Cyberdeck. There you go. I have to shoot him from the ass. And then he'll really teleport right there. So this is the entire fight. Now he'll try to suck you even more. So yeah, tough fight, and this is the second boss fight. Yeah, I got him that time, but it didn't work. So now you're thinking, okay, this this isn't working. I'm shooting from the ass, which looks obvious. What do I do now? Well, you might have noticed something when I hit him there. I'm gonna try to show it without getting sucked in. Come on. Yeah. You have to shoot him while he's coughing. So it's much easier than you think, but you wouldn't think to do this. And there you go. And we saved that kid. No name. There was a name for the other chick, I didn't see it, but... That kid? Nah, just bald guy. <laughs> 
And now we have actually left. So. Stream is going okay. Luckily. I mean, well, I am losing frames, but that's to be expected. So, in case you're wondering, we can actually go back to the, uh... The sponsorship area by going that way. If you want to practice some more. But we're going to Jungle World. And this is Jungle World. And this is our first level. Restless Natives. Now. I have not done these levels. So, what you're going to be seeing is me just kind of going for this blindly. Which is why I'm safe stating. There's also pink guys here. And, I'll mention there. And we have to make this big jump! Great! I need a lot of momentum! So in case you're wondering... I have to keep my speed up the entire time. All the way to the end. And then make a big jump. However, there is something else. We can do a trick and we can still make it. We also have to duck under stuff. So yeah, tricks can help with gain distance. Oh boy, the farts. Got it. Oh, I didn't make it! Ah, oh, this is painful. And there's no checkpoint, so if you do lose a life, you have to go for the entire track all over again. Now, doesn't that just suck? And now here's the game over. <coughs> eh. <laughs> That's the game over. Alright, let's try this again. So now that you have basically seen what most people would see of this game, and then quit playing on... We're now going to continue on. Because god damn it, if I didn't quit Rascal, I'm not quitting this either. And you know it. Do you like farts? Did it. Well, I beat the bonus score target. No, 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 wait. There we go. I, I did. I got the time taken. So. No stars, but hey. 
we did beat that level, so that's good enough. We'll just beat the game. I'm not gonna try and 100% it. I'm, I'm not insane. Inka Stinka. So what do you think Inka Stinka is? The jungle pygmies are famous for their puzzles and. Yeah. The uh the name is Cyberdeck. It is not called Cool Borders 2. Cyberdeck is not in the Twitch thing. So I don't know why. It's just not. And yeah. This begins. So, this one's interesting, because I don't know what to do here, but I think what we're supposed to do is find and kill all of these pigs. There's another pig down here. The pigs will try to kill me as well. For every pig I kill, I do get health back. So that's good news. But if I fall down, I'm gonna die, so... We don't want that. So yes, this is the entire thing. Come on. Pig's coming this way. He has the key! Yes, we have to find the ones with the keys. We have to kill them all, so that we can unlock the bridge, so that we can actually move on. No pigs have spawned there, so... So yes, we are on the hunt. Now, I don't know why this game is not on the Twitch thing, on the games. Because, I mean, it was sponsored by Vans. Come on. It'd be a game sponsored by such a great company would, at the very least, have their game be on the list. Wait, am I just supposed to get on the... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. oh no. I have to ride a moving platform. Better game cover, that's fine. Okay. I have to jump on the platform and then stay on it. There we go. At least I keep moving with it. I not one of those games. Oh. Oh, the cam doesn't want to move anymore. It wants to stick to one spot. That's nice. That just showcases how bad the controls are, too. This game just got a whole lot better. Uh Oh dear god. Uh Trees please. Music please. What is the sound? Uh Oh god. Ah. Uh, did it. Oh. <laughs> That was nuts. That was nuts. Thank God we can save. Too bad there's no oh, continues. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. Hello, it's BMS. Man. So, what the hell is the go is with the goddamn name of this game? I don't know. 
You'll have to talk I, to Vans because they they wanted this game made. I, apparently, uh, apparently it was sponsored by, uh, by Vans. And now I'm, we're facing a baboon. Excuse me. We're racing a baboon. I wasn't even really focusing for uh, for most of the time. I was mainly just looking at like the dashboard. Oh, stuff and the baboon shits uh, TNT out of his red ass. Why are we in a level level from Bubsy 3D again? Are you sure? We're are you not sure this is not Rainbow Road? With skateboards. Are you sure this is not Rainbow Road? Uh, okay, good pull. No, no, Damn this it. isn't just Rainbow Road. This is Rainbow War Road as manufactured okay. by Willy Fucking Wonka. The good news is you can't lose lives in a race unless you lose the race. The bad news is the bad boon is actually kind of tough. He's good at this game, which is impossible. He is clearly an impossible bad Because boon. momentum in this game is just the worst. You need uh, to rely on momentum. Was... And then the, well, the bad boon gets in the way. Like. No. So, as you can see, the bad boon does I, get I in the way. And, uh, I would imagine that it would be like a f okay. I, I imagine that the baboon has no idea what the fuck is going on. He just said "ook ook 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 race." Oh, I, I guess he does. Okay, now I'm in front because hey, I got enough momentum to actually get enough in front. And if you get further away in front, they don't really fight back well. If they get closer to you, they will start really hammering down on the speed. But if you keep your distance, they will be slow. So even if you're in front or behind, they are going to go very slow eventually. And it just makes this easy. See? Could be worse. Could be That's one of those dumb fucking games that use rubber band AI to make fake difficulty. It does have rubber banding. Um, it's just not very good then. Yeah. Anyway, boss fight ah, time. How fun. Excuse me? Wait, we, we just had a race. What, what do you mean boss fight time? Bolo, ook, ook, squash, ook, ook, you. We get to fight the baboon. Now the biggest problem is that he's gonna throw shit at me. But I shoot I him mean... and we're done. But I have to go all the way back afterwards. Uh, so, I have to dodge all the attacks he gives me, shoot him, with the explosive arcing shot, and then go all the way back for another shot. What is this, Ultima 2? I, I just realized I may have made a reference you really may not get. No, I got it. Uh, wait, you played Ultima? Sort of. I played Ultima 3. Oh, well, I, I, yeah, it's kind of a situation you need to Ultima 2, I feel like, because if the, the final boss of Ultima 2 is this annoying, um... Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Like, lover, apprentice of the enemy from Ultima 1, it's dumb. It, and, but, like, essentially, whenever you shoot her, she goes on, on the complete upper end of the map. And you have to run the whole way to shoot her again for her to teleport again. Well, here's the bad news about this one. Trying to dodge this monkey's attacks is hard because either they're gonna bounce or they're gonna roll. And it's actually random. Oh, 
know that. And then you have to get very close to the monkey and shoot at him. Which means you'll probably get hit because you're getting very close to the monkey. And he's still throwing shit at you. No, oh, damn it. I want the stuff! Oh no, damn it. So, can you sort of tell why this is gonna be a tough boss fight? It certainly looks like a frustrating boss fight. There we go. None of these health points respawn, by the way. None of the stars respawn. So, if you grab all of them and then lose all of them, they're gone. You cannot refill health. I kind of figured the hearts were health. Nope, the hearts are alive. I, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, but what makes stars health? I don't know. They're collectibles. Well, actually, if you hit him, they do come back, so there's that, but well, still. That's you have, positive, at least. You have to actually hit him. And if you miss, you have to go all the way back, and they won't respawn, so. Pardon me, did you just lose all of your stars in one hit? Yep. You lose all your stars in one hit. This is some Sonic the Hedgehog you shit can, that You can die much. in That's two hits. Much. And jumping over the barrels and is hard. I mean, like, I think the only time I actually ever saw you, like, jump over one of the ground ones was just by hanging on the very edge of the platform. Yep, and that's not easy because momentum is needed. Ah. So let's wait for a jumping one to appear. And shit. Shit. Jump. Dodge. Uh, jump. Jump. Oh god. Ooh. I think he takes free hits. That is not fun. No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna this jump over this one. Nope, didn't work. Uh. Mm. I thought you'd jump over one of them, which worked out pretty well, but otherwise. Go! Got him! Beat him? Yep. Nice. So, you, you know what kind of vibe I get from this game based on the health mechanics and the, the the focus on momentum and speed? What? This this looks like a prototype Sonic game. Yes, I agree. Okay, hang on, I need to quickly do something, so I'll be right back. But, uh... Enjoy the music, because that's the only good thing about this game. I'm not kidding. Look up the soundtrack, you can actually find it on YouTube. It's actually decent. Oh. Okay. And I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, sorry for that. Had to be able to do something. Yeah, it's fine. See, that was Bolo. Now it's time for Amazion. Wait, what? It's called Amazion. You wanna know why? I, uh, I, I, I feel like that's a misspelling. It's a pygmy maze. Uh huh. And now for my favorite song of the game. So which way should we go? Hey BMS, why don't you help me out and uh, choose direction? Red, yellow, or green? Red. Alright, now which way? Red, yellow, green, or blue? Green? 
Green? Nope. Oh, wait, wait. No, because we're now back here. So you chose right the first time. Now I'm going to choose blue. Okay. No, that wasn't it. Let's right. choose yellow then. And now we're here. Wait, what? But was that the answer? Yes. Red, yellow. Oh. Okay. Now we got dancing, farting elephants, I guess. And now we're here. Whoa, pink elephants! I chose blue by accident. Fuck, now we're back here. God I was trying it. to get past the pink elephants. Good job. Why is this game drunk? And now Why I is can't. this game taken from a Disney film is my question. Because that's what it's doing. Whoa. It's I can't pain. fall down. Obviously. I can't. I, I don't know what. I'm trying to take this as slow as possible while also not getting screwed. Okay. We tried blue. Green or yellow? Sort of. Just random burning elephants right there or something. Which color, BMS, green or yellow? Uh, green, yellow. It was green. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna choose red. Oh, for fuck's sake! Damn it, it was red. Uh, it wasn't red. It was green though, so we're like halfway there. Well, slight positive. Freaking, freaking pink elephants. They're everywhere. Beware the pink elephants. Oh, you prick! I'm not losing this life. Don't worry, I think I remember which one it was for the first part. We also have pickups here, but we can't get them because they're in the way. Yeah, there you go. Uh, don't you love mazes? No one does. At all. Especially not on platformers. Okay. Especially not poorly done platformers. Now, I'm gonna do us all a favor. I'm gonna save state when we get to that one spot. I was gonna try and do this level fairly, but not with the pink elephants. I'm sorry. So, save. It was green. Right, we tried red. Yellow, green, or blue? Uh... Blue. Blue? It was! And now we got crushers! Yay? Question mark? Ooh! Are you fucking... You bastards. That was... Really mean. What? The oh no. I made it, but that was mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We have a red, a blue, and a green. Choose. <laughs> 